What's up, guys? Today is March 17th, St. Patty's Day, and some good news uh, for those of you that are looking to get the PPP program or loan. Uh, currently, it expires this month, March 31st. However, the House Representative approved a two month extension of the program. That doesn't mean it's in law yet, it still has to pass the Senate. So it passed the House. Uh, 415 to three three no votes so a pretty wide majority um like i said the bill goes to senate uh senate majority leader chuck schumer did say they want to pass as quickly as possible so i'm not sure when they're going to vote on it hopefully it's this week and i mean once they vote yes um and expect to the pass then biden signs the law hopefully this week and then um pp programs extended till um it would be june or sorry may 31st um now part of this is with the recent passing of the 1.9 billion uh american 1.1 million dollar american rescue plan act that's been eligibility to nonprofits for the ppp loan and the big change was the calculation for self-employed schedule c filers before you use your net now you're able to use your gross to calculate um the loan amount which is fully forgi forgivable so i mean that can be like double the money almost um very least i mean you know it, it can be even more than that um and also opens up to people that maybe had almost like let's say a thousand dollar net profit versus someone that uh made gross profit wise you know um ninety five thousand dollars or something like that it's definitely possible so it, it definitely expands now um Part of the other, you know, and, and a lot of banks or several banks, I think Bank of America, um, stopped, Bank of America or Chase, I can't remember, stopped taking application because they thought this program was going to end um, this month and they weren't going to do the new calculation, which would be totally unfair to a lot of people. Um, so this is going to give lenders, once it passes the Senate, more time to process applications and leave the application window open for small business owners to file for first draw and second draw PPP loans. Now, the, pro, the proposed bill also allows the SBA an additional 30 days after May 31st to process application. So it gives the SBA a little more time um, to um, approve uh, those applications. Um, now, there is a big push. Uh, I was reading a few Congress people uh, want to make the gross calculation for the self-employed Schedule C and 1099 con contractors, uh, contractors retroactive. So uh, the American, so if you didn't know going off of that, um, you're only eligible for that gross calculation if uh, you are, if your loan was not approved by, I believe March 7th, I think. I could be wrong, but somewhere in that time frame. Um, so if you got approved before then, then they're using that and you can't go back and change it, which is kind of crappy. Um, so anyways, the American Institute of Cervic, Cervic, <laughs> Certified Public Accountants are one of many professional organizations that are lobbying Congress to do so and make it retroactive. And just a real quick reminder how to qualify for second job PPP loans. Uh, you must have less than 300 employees and have a 25% reduction in gross receipts when comparing the same quarter in 2020 to 2019. Meaning if you're using the first quarter of 2020, it's compared to the first quarter of 2019. 2019 and see a 25% decline from 2019 to 2020. So as soon as this bill passes the Senate, which I'm hoping to be this week, uh, I'll definitely let you guys know. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, I'm bringing content like this every single week from stimulus news to news for small businesses to crypto news, investing news, all that good stuff. So uh, also if you're looking into getting into uh, investing with stocks and or crypto, few links down below check those out pretty good incentives and if you have a home office and need some rent insurance check out lemonade down below they're pretty good so thanks for watching guys so next time peace